Welcome back to Mail Call. You know, anytime the Marine Corps brings out a new toy, it's time for the gunny to do a little snoop and poop. So this email from Jim in Amarillo, Texas comes in. Went right to the top of the heap. Jim's asking for a good look at the B-22 Osprey. Hey, Texas, great idea. What do you say? I go for a spin while you folks down there in Texas sit around and play Hold'em. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's... What the hell is that, anyway? They're calling it the MB-22 Osprey. And if it looks like some kind of crazy helicopter-airplane combo, you're on the right track. The Osprey is the latest military bird to come online. And it's moving my Marine Corps into the 21st century in a big way. When I heard the folks at Marine Corps Air Station New River were testing this baby out, you better believe I was itching to get out there and sneak a peek for myself. Out on the flight line, I caught up with Major Dave Lane. And he was more than happy to sort out a couple of questions that I had. Like, what do you call this thing? I don't know whether to call it an airplane, a helicopter, a, a thing, or what do we want to call it, but it looks like, uh, looks like a female CH-46 got tangled up with a C-130, don't it? I tell you, maybe a little bit. Uh, we like to refer to it as a tilt rotor, and uh, the MV-22 Osprey is, is quite a machine. It's got a flight envelope that supports both the uh, helicopter, rotorcraft, and also the C-130. I can see all you sofa jockeys out there scratching your heads, so let me fill you in. The Marine Corps and the Air Force were looking for an aircraft with the speed of an airplane and the versatility of a helicopter. The nature of war is always changing, and our equipment has to evolve to meet the high-speed needs of our military. Nobel Helicopter and Boeing came up with a design for a new bird that could move our boys' beans, bullets, and band-aids very long distances, very quickly. It wasn't easy. There was a long period of trial and error and a few smack-ups along the way, but they finally got it right, delivering a machine that exceeds all expectations. And the secret of its success was the revolutionary tilt rotor design. At the edge of the wings, you'll find the engine nacelles, each housing a 6,150 horsepower turbo shaft engine. And each engine drives a 38 foot diameter, three bladed prop rotor. When the nacelles and props are pointed skyward or at a slight angle, the Osprey can lift off vertically or diagonally. They call it Visto. Vertical, short, takeoff, and landing. Now once this bad boy hits the sky, you can speed things up by tilting the nacelles 90 degrees forward and making the whirly bird into a prop plane. This gives the Osprey twice the speed and at least three times the range of ordinary helicopters. The potential for the tilt rotor seems endless. The flying one of them seems like a challenge. So I headed over to the flight safety training simulator for a little show and tell. Sim instructor Jim Kessler got me up to speed on Osprey operation as we dusted off from a computer-generated aircraft carrier. Once we got in the air, he handed the controls over to yours truly. The simulator may look like a video game to you pukes out there, but believe me, once they kick on the hydraulics and you have full motion control, it's hard to believe you're not flying the real McCoy. After a few pointers from Jim, I was able to handle this honey on my own. Not bad. I like this. This is pretty simple stuff. Yes. Now, once I had a little virtual stick time, it was pretty clear to me that the MV-22's a solid piece of gear. And 
and the Marine Corps thinks so much of it that they will be using the Osprey to phase out the old CH-46 Frog. What's really special about the Osprey? What drags, what, what draws you to it, and what makes you think it's so hot? I grew up in the CH-46 world, and I'll tell you, that is one great piece of gear. But as soon as I stepped inside the MB-22 and got a chance to throw those nacelles down and add the power, get up to 240, cruising around at 200, 300 feet, you really can't tell how effective the aircraft is going to be and how it is. Its ability to stop, low speed maneuverability, it's got all those things that you need to make a really effective weapon system. That's what makes it so special. And it's replacing the old CH-46, which has been in the arsenal. I can remember, I think I was about a PFC the first time I rode in the CH-46. And something tells me that it's almost a collectible by now, right? I tell you, most of the pilots that fly the CH-46 are not as old as the CH-46 they fly. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. And if you go to replace a really outstanding, great piece of equipment, it's always our policy that we replace it with something that's even better and even better so that we improve ourselves all the time. I think we've done that with the MV-22. You believe so? I do. Well, why don't you just show me? I'll do it. Let's there go we're... strap it on. Now we're talking. The first thing I noticed was how smooth this baby is. Takeoff was quick and easy. And we were up to speed in the blink of an eye. There wasn't even a stutter as we made the switch from helicopter to airplane. After a few minutes in the air, I was pumped up. I didn't even want to get off when we came in for touch and go. the C-46 Frog. Jesus, it's everything that anybody could ever possibly want. I want one. Wow. Lucky for me, the flight crew was good enough to pick me up for another go round. Here's a bunch of such a kick in the pants, I could stay up here all day long. You know, just about the time that I'm starting to get a little bored with things, and I think I've rode all the airplanes and flown all the helicopters, and I've seen all there is to see, up comes the Osprey. This thing is such an amazing piece of equipment. I got to tell you, this is one hell of a bird. With toys like that, it is...